right? Do you feel as if uh, it's a disadvantage to be an introvert at the workplace? Hmm. Maybe we start with Andrew, alphabetical order, and Andrew because you know they're right. both alphabetically start yes. with A. I think in a corporate setting, by and large, the answer is. Welcome back to Yamcha Sessions. Very fast one, VFO. Today is the 1st of March, 2024. Today, we will be talking about the introverts at the workspace. Something I cannot relate to. Damn, son. But I am speaking to three introverts at the workspace. So, so hopefully- introverted, I count for two, I think. Sorry? Wow. So nice. introverted, I think I, I, think I count oh, for two. Oh, damn. So right. now I'm speaking to four <laughs> introverts, <laughs> technically. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Something I can't relate. So I suppose the questions of- the inquisition would probably come from my extroverted self. So maybe I can start off with... Um, Andrew, the two introverts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to ask a question, right? So how did you guys know that you all were introverts at the workspace? So how, I'm sure there was a moment where you click and you're like, you think there's Shit. a moment I was born like this? Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you bro. don't notice it at the workplace. I, I, I don't know if you guys can relate. <laughs> la. Um, I knew uh, the many ways, but for me, it's when I see something stupid and I just like, and that's it. I don't correct the person. But he's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep it to myself, you know? Oh, shit. You know what I mean? No, that's oh, just I know what you mean. Yeah. You see something to be like... I think I've, I, I feel like an actual will go and tell, hey, bro, stop it, man. Or like, hey, you're doing it wrong, something like that. And just let people keep doing... Same, uh, right? I mean, it's not my prerogative, right? You're yeah, a dumbass. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Nothing yeah. to do with me. What were you I, I don't know. I think he's like a friendly introvert. He's like a nice one. It depends nice la, of my personal relationship with the person. La. So honestly, if I didn't know them, it's not my problem. No, but workspace, right? So I'm sure when we all started working, right? Did you all feel as if like, when was that moment where you realized that? Oh, oh work. Uh, yeah, because workspace, ma, introverts at the workspace, right? I think it's, I think it's feeling anxious uh, meeting new people and also feeling very out of, place in groups oh. of at least more, like once it's more than three, then straight away you're like, uh. <laughs> it's a bit painful for it to yeah, Even two, man. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, one on one, I'm like, oh man. If you know all of them, it's okay. It. Yeah. yeah. But even so, it really depends who. It's very, it's very heavy. It's like lifting a very heavy dumbbell. And I, I think the, the, the hallmark trait is post interaction, post forced interaction, you feel Fatigued like Ooh. fuck. Oh. You're just tired, mate. Oh yeah, man. Tired. John, have you ever felt like hesitant to call someone? Without phone oh yeah, every time. Oh, every time now. Yeah, every okay, time. Okay, okay. Because they, they, they speak a different language. So they speak Mandarin Only Cantonese. if they speak oh, a different that's language. That's no, even language. actually no, even when they speak English, I feel sometimes people take too long to get to the point. So mm. I'm more of the how come this is not efficient when it comes to work? Okay. okay. So myself, mm. before I like make a call, there's very, there's a lot of prep work. <laughs> there's wow. a mental preparation <laughs> to take that call. Do you feel the same way, Drew? Andrew? I think when, <laughs> I think when I was younger, to a more severe degree. Yeah. As I'm older, it's still there. I'm not saying it's zero, but it's less severe, lah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For me, it's reverse receiving. <laughs> this can be a tax. Actually, funnily enough, receiving, this can I'm be okay. A tax. <gasps> All right. <laughs> you know? Funnily enough, receiving, I'm okay. Oh, receiving, okay. Yeah, making a call, it's bad. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But when did I notice I'm an introvert? It's not at the workplace. Way before that, in school, lah, you know? When you notice when you're in a group of people and somehow you don't, you, you, it's never really going to get a lot of screen time in that conversation. Usually it's like you can't think of things to say or you, you're you thinking too much in your head before you say or it doesn't just come out naturally like mm. uh, I've observed a lot of our extroverted friends uh, carry the conversation and, and, and are able to uh, maneuver, maneuver the, conversation. the con conversation well. Mm. Yeah, and I, can, uh, I, I cannot relate with some extroverts where the longer the night goes, the more energetic they get. Yeah. How does that make any sense? Whoa, right? Right? Yeah. right? It's like, wow, it's like blood type O and AB, that kind of yeah, comparison. Yeah. Like. I mean, we say this, but it's like almost 10 something at night, but we are having this conversation. Okay, because we, I know you. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Different. So I suppose the caveat is if you know someone, then somehow it's just less difficult. I think every introvert can agree to that. 
if you know the person, then the energy levels can be sustained. Not necessarily increase, but mm. like sustain or like a slower decline. Yep. Slower decline, I agree. Actually can yeah. increase also when the conversation becomes deeper and deeper. Itachi and deeper. Minato, example, yes, but again, uh, yeah. 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 No, but if it becomes deeper and deeper, let's say uh. like that one time we were talking a week uh, and then it oh, went, yeah, to, that night. went to uh, the, the, the cycles, right? The 80 year cycles. Of, yeah. Because uh, we're yeah. talking about like what's yeah, the like, purpose of life? Know, uh, Is it reincarnation? Life, uh, that yeah, type yeah, of thing. Cycles right, of right, uh, right, uh, right. war, war etc. I believe that everybody is introverted to some extent. Mm. Like there are certain things that triggers them and feels like it is this requires too much energy. Yeah. And there are certain things where you might feel as if it's not so much energy, but an extrovert might feel there's a lot of energy in terms of like conversing with someone or talking to someone. So for example, if you would to classify me as an extrovert, which I don't think I am 100% an extrovert, I think maybe I'm 70%. Mm. And But this is coming from me last time when I was 100%. I feel like when I was younger, I was 100% extrovert. I'm like, dude, I love to speak to people and learn from people. Mm-hmm. But as I grow older, I realize that like the time I spend with the people I love is something I appreciate a lot more. So if I were to reduce that time speaking to people I don't want to talk to, is better. So I can spend more time talking to people I prefer to talk to. La. So I think it, it fluctuates. And also, an introvert can slowly become an extrovert depending on the situation, even if it's at work. Because you have no choice also. So if let's say you're a founder of an XYZ company or whatever, you have to portray a certain form of leadership. You have to show face. You have to speak to people. You have to demonstrate leadership. And I feel like I've seen a couple of leaders who were introverts in their early careers who became business owners and had to put on their face. I don't know whether it's tiring to them, but they feel like necessary, what to do. Yeah, but I'm sure when they go back, they revert one. <laughs> <laughs> By nature, lah. But at workplace, lah. But at workplace, lah. But at workplace, lah. Okay. So maybe I feel the the follow up question. I'm curious, lah. Right? Do you feel as if uh, it's a disadvantage to be an introvert at the workplace? Hmm. Maybe we start with Andrew. Alphabetical order and Andrew because you know they're right. both alphabetically start yes. with A. I think in a corporate setting, by and large, the answer is yes. You are disadvantaged. Obviously, there's a lot of nuance to it. But if you're in a short answer, I think yes, lah, you're probably disadvantaged. What are some of the disadvantages and advantages then the, of being an introvert? The clear disadvantage of being an introvert is you don't ask your boss for a raise. Uh, conflict averse. Uh, at least in larger corporate settings, you are evaluated at least partially based on how well you can collaborate with people and how likable you are. Mm. So being an introvert, you generally minimize the volume of contact you have with people and therefore have fewer opportunities to demonstrate you are capable of interacting with people mm. in a positive way. Less visible in general. Correct. And then the boss doesn't know you, therefore doesn't yeah. want to give you a big fat raise. you anyway. Yeah. So yeah. that's a very obvious disadvantage. Huh? Mm. I think some advantages, oh, very few, maybe you get to really resonate with other introverts. <laughs> And you better in an extroverted way. <laughs> and you better you better pray that these introverts you're resonating with are actually important people in the organization. Mm. In which case they may take you on as a oh, I you remind me of myself 25 years ago, whatever, uh, right? Uh, 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 take yeah, you under yeah. their wing and then help you solve. Uh, but you really gotta luck out, right? So by <laughs> and large, extroversion is a positive trait in the workplace. That, that, that is a good strategy though. That's a like mean, probably mm. leading to your third or fourth question, but that's a good strategy too. Oh, well, you know my third and fourth question. <laughs> 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 what about you, Kat? What do you think? Advantages, disadvantages of an introvert? Generally, at the workplace. At the workplace, it depends on the the rest of them around you. Like if most of them are introverts, then you're in great position. Because <laughs> everybody's the same. Everybody's the same. Yeah, home run the bell curve, mate. <laughs> Some of the pros? Some of the pros of being introvert are maybe uh, you're, you you got your head down more and maybe you can do more technical stuff better. Maybe you 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 do Excel better or you you, you do the report oh, is better. this a personal attack? Or what the fuck? <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> introverts... <laughs> Do Excel better. Do you say? I'm fucking fantastic. I'm <laughs> quite trash at Excel, which yeah. only speaks volumes of my fucking. Maybe, I mean, you know, maybe right. extroverts do PowerPoint better. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Presentations better. Extroverts oh. will do presentations better, right? Wow. Then I wonder what the fuck is the word document guy doing? <laughs> also, <laughs> introvert is doing uh, his best. <laughs> oh, oh, UMJ. Pros and cons of being an introvert at the workplace. I say net la, for the whole population. Introversion is a negative. Mm. Nah. But I think as an introvert, the way I navigate 
uh, is I, I think that there were criticisms, but that's just specific to me. Uh, like I'm more oblivious to surroundings. I don't interact as much. Like I remember my uh, one funny criticism I had from my ex boss is, "Hey, you should uh, form more, form better relationships with your, uh, you know, build better relationship with your colleagues." I'm like, "Hey," then <laughs> then it's like you know you you know sometimes buy them a meal uh, Then I was like, uh, "Okay." Did I, you really I, buy that? I, I, no, <laughs> <laughs> I think for my no, yeah, I didn't have a farewell. Anyways, um, but I think the advantages is that uh, you are able to form deeper connections. So, uh, one strategy for introverts is to try and get, let's say, you go for lunch or whatever with like one person, so you get to know the person well, um, and you do it like one by one. Huh. So before you know it, ten people in a company, you're doing it for eight people. Oh, that you takes a lot that of that fucking way. energy though. I yeah, can just imagine. But I think an introvert. for introverts, most introverts can agree, right? A one-on-one -on -one conversation suits a lot more. Yeah. So it's not I so much. It's not so much that um we don't get energized talking to people. It's just if it's one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes that is a lot better than, group. than a group. Yeah, that has been my experience. Um doing sales also, which is the introverts like nightmare. Uh one-on-one uh, -on -one is fantastic. Because I get more information and then I get more. It's comfort. a personalized. Yeah, but if you ask, if you ask me to do like platform selling, let's say that means you go on a platform and talk to hundreds of people to sell, I'll be like, I I think at this stage I won't suck, but I don't think I can excel. No pun intended. But what do you? I, I mean, I'm inclined to agree, like Relatively speaking, like yeah. on its own in isolation, I prefer not to talk to anyone, lah. Like. Yeah. Yeah, but if it's between hundred people or one person, I choose one person for sure. Hmm. Do do you all personally feel like right? Like when you talk to introverts, uh, it's easier at the workplace, uh. So like when when you know when you all have conversations one on one, do you feel like it's personally easier to speak to an introvert at the workplace? For me, it doesn't matter. Actually, uh. to a word on that, right? My one on one conversation is my specialty. So uh. when I'm in a one on one question uh, conversation, right? It is. My, fantastic. my natural is, is fantastic. So yeah. I excel and people, I'm able to bring people in and bring people closer. Mm. I, I, I consider that, uh, I value that, I, I consider that, that my strength. skill, right? Mm. But do you think it is easier for, individually, do you think it's easier for all of you, right? One on one to speak with an introvert or an extrovert? For me, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, okay. What about you, Drew? Uh, Generally speaking, obviously, because you know everybody's personality varies. Hmm. But so far, lah. So, the question is between a one-on-one -on -one with an extrovert and uh -huh. a one-on-one -on -one with an introvert, which is easier. Yeah. I would likely think the introvert, lah. Just because I can speak the same lingo. <laughs> I can totally, like, resonate, empathize. I can say the right things that make this person open up. Uh. Uh, and then once the person opens up, then it's, like, super easy. It is, yeah, game on easy mode. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just my around. experience has been the opposite, lah, which is extroverts. Because I feel like extroverts can do well in both single and multi groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I, I don't know the actual answer to this, to be fair. So I'm just citing my own experience. Um, extroverts, um, because in a in a group setting, uh, you know, introverts are like you know, uh, Lashwin said, better at drawing people out, and so. Extroverts wants to be draw wants to be drawn out anyways. So now you're yeah, like the introvert is like actually doing it, then so the extrovert is like, oh nice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's now there's like more intentionality, you know. Last time I, I go and do it myself, now right, someone's right. doing it for me. Yeah, yeah, so my experience has been uh, that and uh, that's why a lot most of when I look at like all my good friends, I would say like 70%, 80% are extroverts. Huh. Yeah. I always speak to Jen about this because Jen is clearly an introvert, right? Yeah. And I always, I always find it very surprising that she wanted to like go on a second date with me. Because I, I just don't know what I was doing during my dates with Jen. But she just said like, you know, there is an energy when you speak to someone. Yeah. So the answer for her, right, would be it depends on the person. There's sometimes, right, the introvert, right, can really drain the shit out of you and you know. Whether it's work or a personal setting. La. So for context, la, right. She says that at work and personal, there are people that she interacts with that are introverts and she can like, Try her very best, you know. But the introvert is like a, a, sh a shut clam. The guy is just, yeah. I'm not going to say anything. Yes or no, that type of thing. And the reverse can be true. So the extrovert can be like so much. It's so overwhelming. And she's just like, 
Oh yeah, I'm tired, man, today. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I find it very interesting because for me, right, introvert or extrovert, I just feel like, oh, okay, la, the guy is like that. La, I just respect him. La. But I feel that as an extrovert, if you were to call me an extrovert, I will always think like, hmm, maybe it's just that day. Because sometimes uh, that person will change on that day. It's the mood, it's the vibe, it's the location, it's the premise, it's the subject, you know. Yeah. But John, what's, what's, what's your answer to this? Uh? Uh, Which one's easier? Yeah. I no, think no, one-on-one. One-on-one? I think if it was a one-on-one, -on -one, I actually don't mind both. I think I've spoken to almost everybody here in this room one-on-one -on -one for a very long duration of, of time. Andrew especially because we grew up together, right? And sometimes it's just like, if I can relate, can relate. Sometimes cannot relate, it's just time passes through. Lah. And then things happen. But I never become damn tired, right? Until uh, I reach... I remember there was one point, right? It was Poiki and myself, right? And we went to this Raya party, right? And bro, that one was destructive, bro. <laughs> Poiki and me, right? Were tech teaming extrovert power, right? Like some kind of Naruto Sasuke shit, you know? <laughs> I, and then I wasn't the whole. even there and I know whose Raya party that was. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I tell you, when both Poiki and I came out of that fucking war, right? Both of us were damn tired. We didn't even talk to each other, bro. Wait, why, why was it so crazy? It was because the whole room were full of introverts that were clams, bro. Really? Oh. Yeah. So to get the conversation rolling, right? It was just each other. We were doing stand-up comedy for them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just so that the room bro, is not silent. I just want to give you a context. The moment, right, Poyi and I walk out, we were just looking at each other. And then we just sit down and didn't talk to each other, you know? And this is Poigi and myself, you know. We are both, we sure got oh, something to say, man, bro. We were so fucking tired. They're like, damn, man. That was really an experience. Really. <laughs> In my mind, I was thinking, fuck, man. I don't know how I can do this for the rest of but my you life. You didn't get the energy, that's why. Right? Yeah, so that's when I realized it, it, it depends. Because sometimes it's easy, right? Poigi is behind the camera. But don't you feel? Right? Some days it's just easy when there's a crowd. Bro, he's a fucking MC, bro. Yeah. That's a stupid question. <laughs> some days it's easy, some days it's not, lah, right? So it really depends on the crowd. So I was curious. I'm like, huh? Sample size, much I'm 50-50 or so, lah, actually. It really depends on the person. It depends on the scenario, lah, right? Okay, so uh, my follow-up question is, right, going off Andrew's mentor question, do you feel as if, right, that, like, if you were in a position where you had an introvert mentor, do you feel that you would forever be an introvert then? Or do you think you feel as if you need to compensate and find an extrovert mentor. So which one is more important, I suppose, is my question for you personally. Because now you know your weakness, right? If you know you, you, you acknowledge that you are more of an introvert at work, do you feel as if you need to compensate and find someone that's extrovert? Or do you feel as if I should model myself after another introvert model? Can I go first? Oh, yeah. Uh, go Andrew first. Uh. Um, just because my mentor is an introvert doesn't... Currently, is it? Uh, no. Oh, hypothetically. But okay. like, yeah. Uh, doesn't mean that I would want to emulate that specific trait. Hmm. So, I I guess in a in a work in a, in a work setting like, right? I'm my, I'm trying to optimize for career success, climbing up the ladder, getting paid more, more hmm. responsibility. That, that sort of jazz like, right? I would emulate only traits of my mentor that I feel would benefit that goal. Uh. And I think if you've worked in the, in the workplace long enough, you would know introversion is not one of those traits you want to emulate. Uh. I, I don't even need to emulate it. Like, I do it in my natural state. Uh, right? <laughs> so you are looking at things outside your mentor. Also, uh, right? Naturally, you just don't hone in tunnel vision yourself on one person. Uh, right? yeah. So you pro you'll probably witness it. Oh, these extroverts, very visible. They are favorite children, high flyers, always taken on by mentor and soaring, that kind of thing. You kind of like test and see, oh, maybe it's this trait, maybe it's this trait, maybe it's this trait. Eventually you'll land on extra version and be like, ah, fuck, this works. So then at some point you don't have a choice. Lah. You just have to adapt to the environment. Lah. It's like if you're fucking hungry, you got to eat, right? It's like no choice. Lah. Mm, that's true. You probably have to adapt. Yeah. Is that MG's one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, okay. What about you, Cup? Do you feel as if you need to search for a mentor that is introvert or extrovert or do you feel the same as Andrew? Um, I agree with some of uh, what Andrew said, but me personally, I don't really try to uh, hone my weaknesses as much as develop, like maximize my strengths. Mm. 
So my strategy is maximize my strengths. But uh, the weaknesses need to come up to a level where it's somewhat acceptable. Mm. And that's it. But I would focus on the things that are already my strengths and try and maximize it. So my value to the company or my value to my uh, juniors or whatever come in the form of... Example rather than characteristic. La. It's not like I'm not going to be the best public speaker. Right? Uh. <laughs> so I'm not going to go back home every day and train public speaking so that I can give a bomb uh, presentation at the end. Uh. Uh, but I'm going to to work on other things, maybe be more technical or... or, or, or uh, yeah, so maybe work more on technical and brush up on those things. Rather than the focus on the extroversion and the uh, introversion. Focus on my weaknesses. Maybe I would try to find uh, people who work around me that are extroverts. If, if let's say it comes time to give a presentation, I try to... Maybe make <laughs> them, them the slides and then <laughs> offload it to them if I can. This right? is the fucker is in no. the group. La. <laughs> but at, the same time, right? at the same time, this is a shite stra- strategy because then you are still more and more invisible. Mm. Right? That's to true. The rest of the company. You're, kind of You're hidden, not giving the uh, presentations. Yeah. Then uh, it kind of sets you in that position in worse, right, actually. Yeah, but hope the Maybe my strategy failed. Like, <laughs> corporate ladder, right? Corporate ladder, I was shit. You know, yeah. I, I, I played the corporate ladder so badly. Um, and maybe that's why it never really worked for me. But uh, at least you know. That's mm. the thing, right? Like, I think sometimes, like, uh, I feel that when you're fighting a river, mm. you're fighting that river of, like, fucking, it's just so, it's so intense. Yeah. But you know that you just flow with the river sometimes. If you flow the river, then you know your strengths are. Yeah. yeah. So, like, okay, you get good at your technical and your reports and whatever. You hope that someone notices. notices. Ah, yeah. That's in just corporate. not the way. <laughs> that's, nope. that's not I know. Works, yeah. Yeah. It's so painful so, to, to learn don't that. Don't listen to me, I failed. <laughs> I failed at corporate ladder. I know a couple of people who are, who are currently going through that as well. They, yeah, right. they, yeah they, they feel as if like their work is just not noticed, that type of thing. And then somehow, right, when the people who do work that is like quite subpar, right, but they are more extroverted, they are just noticed. Right? Yeah. So sad to see that. But it's, that's the game, lah. That's it's very, don't, it's don't a, hate the player, hate the game. Yeah, uh, yeah. What about you, MJ? Uh, so the question is, mentor. Uh, would I prefer an introverted or extroverted mm. mentor? Honestly, it's quite low on my list in terms of criteria for mentors. Oh. Um, interestingly, uh, I run a company where there is seven plus four. 11 people who are working with me mm. and nine like introverts. Oh shit. Fuck, you all do like sign language. No. <laughs> so actually it's very fun. It's actually very fun because uh. everyone introvert, so it, it's easier to vibe. La. I don't uh. know. But yeah, I mean, back to your question. Um, yeah, I, I, I cannot say which one. And... Personally, in terms of mentors, is more. I, I would probably go with Andrew a bit more. It's more the qualities. I, right? Yeah, like I carve out the qualities that I think is worth learning from, rather than the actual extroversion. Because e- even if you use the simple logic that many people use, that extroverts are better at sales than introverts, uh, I've come to realize uh, that's not necessarily the case. Sometimes I feel like when I see the mentor, right, for people who are climbing, lah. Then they kind of like, let's say, if introvert models after introvert mentor, right? You can kind of understand where the guy has, got, how the guy has gotten to that that position. That's the thing. So it's like, you know, from that guy's mistakes, then you just know like, okay lah, if I can kind of avoid those certain mistakes to reach to that level, it's still doable. But for me, right, I kind of like have multiple ones uh, personally lah. So I have like mentors who are extrovert, I have mentors that are introverts, and I kind of see how they have maneuvered their career to get into that position. Then I just realized that like you just pull certain parts, but when I follow something that's similar to my path, so for example, if I follow like my mom, right? My mom is an extrovert. Okay. So I know that she has maneuvered her way to that point, right, of success, right? Because she has said certain things, she has done certain things. So it's for it's, it's easier for me to follow in those steps. Mm. But it's more difficult for me to follow in the steps of let's say my other mentor who is Wing Kyung, example, who is an introvert who has climbed that way. Because he's like he's like forcing himself, right? Yeah. And then he's then tired, right? He's always like, oh, fucking tired. <laughs> that type of shit, right? But for my mom, it's just like, go back, sleep, wake up next day, time to be an extrovert again, that type of thing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I probably can understand how she did it. 
But if I modeled my career after Wing Council, I'm probably very difficult. Because now I have to to like somehow learn how to maneuver in an introverted way. Or values can take. But it's easier to just model after someone that's similar. Actually, that makes so much sense. So if I were to reverse back, I would, <laughs> I would pick my un- answer as introvert because yeah, yeah. of those things, right? It's easier, right? Just imagine yeah. having an extroverted mentor, right? Then you say, just do it this way. Yeah, you, you cannot know, relate on, bro. Why can't you, you do, do it this yeah. way? Yeah. Why can't you do it this way? Just talk then I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, you feel like, cannot relate. Yeah. Even if I it, can't. <laughs> it's, it's it's, like, I think it's easier for an extrovert because you just have to suppress energy. Mm. Right? But sometimes you just feel like, wow, I, why? <laughs> I yeah. would just straight away, I wouldn't even think, I'm like, but why? <laughs> at least, at least in a, if I imagine myself in a corporate setting, if my mentor was an introvert, mm. he would have gone through similar pains than I did. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he That's would, he, yeah, so he would probably convey the fact that you almost have to force yourself to be an extrovert. Mm. You think, you think so? The majority of them, they right. say that. Yeah. No, you, you, you have to one. There's no choice. Because oh, f- you can be the so best sad. motherfucker in town, right? But then if nobody knows you, nobody knows you. That's it already. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like Wozniak, technically. Gigi Wozniak Gigi. also like yeah. that. Yeah. Right? He yeah. didn't yeah. really Agreed. It's, speak up, right? It's kind of like in e-commerce, right? There's this formula for sales where you are looking at uh, views multiplied against your uh, average basket size. Okay. Multiply against your number of orders. Okay. But to, 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 to tie back to this, to this topic, right? This is like you, your average basket size, right? Is fucking like 7 trillion, right? Okay. Because you are the best motherfucker in town, right? But then your views is fucking zero. Then you multiply, right? It's just zero. La. <laughs> <laughs> so, right? You're fucking trash. La. Yes. So, you, you, you are forced to and There is no choice, man. So, that contextually, is... you have to adapt in a corporate setting. La. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. So follow up question is what have what are some of the ways that you guys have uh implemented into your your work that somehow overcome that introversion or your attempts to <laughs> become an extrovert in the workplace? Oh, I have the best answer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Best Maybe answer. I saved the best for last. Okay. You hold on to that. Okay, okay. So what are some of the ways right that you all have used right in the workplace to somehow overcome or like it's some kind of fucking disease like that like introversion but like. <laughs> <laughs> to somehow navigate through this uh, scenario in which introversion is so looked down upon on. But you all have that attempt. What, what, are, those, what are some of the attempts that you all have made? Uh, that are successful. Uh, don't give me failure one. Uh, I mean, people are trying to learn from this podcast, right? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think uh, just play to your strength, right? So start with talking to one person which is what you're comfortable with. Are you going to buy them lunch? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't bite that much. That's a joke. I'm sorry. I might. So um, then move up to two, move up uh, to a, a, a small group. Yeah, move up to a small group. And for myself, that's where I started. Then before I left my previous job, I was teaching, uh, I was on stage teaching oh, 20 odd people who were like twice my age. So it's scaling, like, you can slowly yeah, scale. Yeah, so what, what people, the, the, for most introverts, at least my version of introverts, um, because introverts tend to kind of sit back mm. and observe more, so they learn things a bit more. Uh, they notice things a bit more. Yeah, Ob- more and observant. So they gather more data, whereas the extrovert is kind of just out there, right? Yeah. And you need to take advantage of that skill that you have. And that advantage, uh, that skill will build confidence. And once you know what you're talking about, right, then suddenly you can just start coming out of your shell, so to speak. Mm. The worst thing to be as an introvert is to know nothing. Oh, yeah, man, bro. That would be fucked up, yeah, man. You, you, you actually, because at least with the, the extrovert, he don't know anything, but he's, the energy is so um, vibrant, right, that people are like, oh, which one might be bullshitting, right, talking about astrology or whatever, but... <laughs> oh, astrology or whatever. Wow. I believe. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> but if you're an introvert and you can't never develop yourself, that's when you have an issue. So case study I will use beyond myself is uh, Elon Musk. Mm. Right? Elon Musk is actually an introvert. But the guy has good content. <laughs> right? He can go on podcasts yeah. and talk and his ideas spread out there and people forget or care that he's an introvert. Yeah, actually I didn't even realize an introvert. But he does take a long time to respond to certain questions. He's like, he's like yeah. processing. There you go. There yeah, you go. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. all these things, right, as an introvert is your strength. It just, it takes time for you to see because the extrovert strength appears right immediately. 
Mm. Like introverts one takes time to yeah. to develop. And so you gotta be patient and just keep going at it. And typically if you look at guys in the corporate world of business, a lot of them are introverts that do well, but they are typically older. Where when they speak, at least people will listen because they're saying something holds water. Listen, listen. Whereas to use a phrase from a previous podcast, uh in, extroverts tend to spray and pray. Mm. You know what I mean? Quite, 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 quite. Actually, I feel the reverse happens, you know, as you grow older. Mm. So when you're an introvert, when you're younger, right? Bad. But when you're introvert older, wise. Bro, wise. you just say, uh, <coughs> you're just eating, you eat I'm just one- just waiting for the wise Yeah, you just come. eat one spoon <laughs> of the food, you're like, good. People are like, wow, it must be fucking good, right? The guy said yeah. good. Yeah. But then the so extra- way to go, grow old. <laughs> <laughs> the extra is reverse. The extrovert shines when they're young. But yeah. when they grow old, they thought like this. They're lively. Uh, when you're this young. uncle uh, say everything also one. Uh. Yeah. He read, uh, he WhatsApp university one. Uh. Yeah. WhatsApp university. Right, so right. The, the, the truth is you must start as an extrovert and as an introvert. Well, <laughs> she, 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 I, I think the ideal is actually to know the situation and to, yeah, to chameleon. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's the perfect one. That's true. God, what about you? What are some of your steps as an introvert in the workplace? Okay, so I mean, uh, <laughs> to so overcome I, your, your introversion. <laughs> Uh, one extroverted skill I have uh. is negotiation. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's one thing I excel uh, even though I am an introvert. Uh, but in a sense, this is also kind of a technical skill whereby you really have to know what the other people want around mm. you. So in negotiation, uh, in any kind of negotiation, I... I usually kind of observe and I'm able to tell what people want. Let's say it's an extroverted CEO or something like that, right? Uh. Uh, can kind of generally gauge what, what they are looking for or what they want and then try to fulfill those needs. Um, so it's a balance act in some way also. Like you can kind of like yeah. weigh out what the guy so, wants. Yeah. So the, the way I, even now in business negotiations, right? Uh, I'm running my own business. Mm. There's a lot of negotiation happening, right? Um, the way I look at negotiation is that when coming out of the negotiation, everybody needs to win or at least feel like they won, mm. right? At least they need to feel like they win. But I usually go the route of everyone is uh, people I'm going to work with long term. So I make sure the numbers or the percentage split is in that it works for everyone. Everyone feels like they win. It's sustainable long term. Yeah. Right? Mm. So I guess in negotiations, I... I have a bit of a presence because I, I'm yeah. sure of myself. I'm sure what everyone wants. I'm sure what I want. So I'm able to handle those conversations quite well, even mm. as an introvert. So that's the only extroverted skill yeah. I have. I, I, actually building on that, I, we, we were actually having a chat before the podcast when you're out smoking, right? Mm. Um, that for myself, I've actually gone from hyper introversion, which is less than 90%, but closer <sighs> to the center now, right? okay. maybe 60 70 percent and i realized as an introvert right how you can take the extroversion out of you is actually objectives i realize so if i have to close the sale if i have to present something online or offline <coughs> um if i have to explain something if i have to give instructions to my team right then the extroversion nat naturally takes over because i gotta do something uh -huh. but i'll never do it for the sake of doing it yeah like let's say if I'm sitting at the dinner table with the auntie that I don't like, sometimes I don't even look at her. Oh damn, that's, damn, that's harsh, man. Yeah, man. But but she's a nice one, but she's like, you know, like let's say a pro-China lady, right? Then I'm like, uh then <laughs> she asked me a question. Yeah. Uh, ask me a question, then I'm like, uh yeah, yeah, no, no. Sometimes I don't know, I just keep you know, sometimes I'll look like it can be that rude, right? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so that's what I realized for for introverts. The pro tip is uh to find things where there's objective and to achieve the objective, you require people to get it done outside of yourself. You will see the actual version come out of you. But that has to be layered with competence, obviously, which is the earlier point. I think it also comes with confidence also. Because yeah. like sometimes after a while, you, yeah. the first time you do, maybe not yeah. so... Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. practice, competence, confidence, actual version. Wow, that was the step by step. Yeah. What about you, Drew? Your yeah. best answer? My best answer. Huh. So in, a, in the workplace, for me, <laughs> when I enter a job, I commit myself... Because now it's the first impression for most people, Ma, right? Yeah. On their judgments of me. I will come off as... I put on this whole facade that I am an extrovert. Objective. Okay? Mm. Ah. Okay. Now, right, 
that first impression is set in stone already. Now I'm pot committed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fuck this up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you see, that's objective that I'm talking about. Yeah. You came with a plan that involves people, then you did it. Correct. Then on a subconscious level, right, you know how they view you roughly. You just got to keep it up. Eh? Mm. That is so up. tiring. Yeah. Jesus fucking. It's that tiring, but, but you already have that reputation, right? You got to keep it up. Yeah, right? no choice, bro. <laughs> no choice. Otherwise, people will see you for the fraud that you are. <laughs> Fuck, cannot, man. No choice. I like how you announced that you're a fraud on the podcast. <laughs> it really takes balls to do it. Like that, so. I'm a fraud. Yeah, but then, okay, so so that's the, that's the, 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 the level one answer, right? Mm. Level two answer is, no one really looks at you in that much detail. Mm. Yeah. Okay? No one's so. scrutinizing you as much as you're scrutinizing yourself. So don't worry if you fuck up, right? Here and there, you drop the ball a bit. Just tuck yourself in a little corner for a day or two, right? No one's really gonna tuck notice yourself that. in a corner yeah. for a day or two. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, people are not gonna be like totally analyzing you exclusively. They're all busy with their own little lives, right? Yeah. So it's not not a bad one. But by and large, you gotta keep up with this fraud, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's the plan. So commit fraud. Got it. Yeah. Commit fraud. Yeah. Step one is commit fraud. Step all two, right. continue committing fraud. Yeah. yeah. Step practice, three is don't practice. get caught. Don't give up. Correct. Don't give up on the yes. fraud. <laughs> so far, how long have you been able to sustain this? Uh, I'm 29 this year. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah, I've been keeping it up. At each company. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much, yeah. yeah. Wow. Damn, man. So we're using this as the the shot. La. The shot? This clip. The shot. The TikTok. Oh, probably. Yeah, let's do that, man. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, expose, yeah. expose and... Yeah, just expose <laughs> me la, to my, on the platform that I... No, 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 but... Don't, <laughs> don't use it in a clip. La. He says he's a fraud. Yeah, he's a fraud. Yeah. I mean, cut out the fraud. I don't... Be like, beep. Nah, fuck it. I'm a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how to I don't know how to react to that <laughs> it must be so tiring I yeah, feel if just, I read just commit yourself yeah, right? because extroverts created this world ma. correct it's not my decision yeah, well, so it's the game only respond on that as the game don't yeah. hate the, the player man hate the that game. is so tiring Jesus Christ yeah. you keep up uh, extroverts up. problem I, I think personally right when I work with introverts, I feel like I am the champion of introverts, you know. I will speak up for the introverts. But that's because of your personality you. type. No, I will feel like this guy's work deserves praise. Mm. Yeah. I will be like, have you guys seen this shit? Are you all fucking blind or what? This is incredible. Am I, am I the type guy? That's your personality type. Yes. That's why. No, but it's I am true. a champion so, of introverts, bro. So finding a partner in, in a <coughs> business partner, so I was quite uh, adamant about finding an uh, extroverted partner. So, so your brother. <laughs> yeah, but uh, someone needs to be able to talk about you. You, When you're the technical expert, your CEO needs to talk about you in the way that puts you in a good light. Mm -hmm. uh, that's important because you talking about yourself and how great you are is... Damn is, uncomfortable. Yeah, it's damn oh, uncomfortable. Yeah, fuck, you know, I feel that this is coming from a perceived extrovert, right? It is also very difficult for me to talk great about myself. Yeah. It is difficult, bro. I think in general, because it's the Asian culture thing. Mm. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, true, true. it's very just, it's just generally. And like, I mean, Asian culture is introverted in nature, so I feel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. that's true, actually. 100%. Yeah, right. Majority of the Americans, the moment you're Asian and you live in the US, all of a sudden, like, oh, fuck, I can, yeah. I can champion women's rights. I can champion yeah. anything, like any you go rights, to bro. Japan. Wow, no rights. <laughs> All lefts. <laughs> but in an introverted way. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose so. But I, I when I when I speak to introverts, they always speak of this, that that difficulty of overcoming it. Lah. And they always go through it and they just like, ah fuck it, I'll just keep quiet. This is the first time I ever hear I'll pretend to be an extrovert yeah. to the very end. <laughs> I never had I've never heard this solution. Confirm, right? No one has this big of a balls, la, you the know, to attempt arts, it, you man. know. Confirm I, people do one. Them introvert school of dark arts. I, I don't know how to respond to that. I, yeah, that's just the truth, man. Yeah. <laughs> no one <laughs> has had the commitment. Hmm. Yeah, bro. <laughs> okay, uh, I suppose last words of advice for <laughs> introverts moving forward. Commit. <laughs> At the workplace, you know. Commit, uh, commit to the just fraud. Commit, uh. bro. Okay, commit to At the least, front. I mean, in, 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 in a large organization, you have to win. Again, if your views are zero, you don't have a choice, mate. Yeah. You don't have a choice. There's, there's no other game to play. Yeah. But you're cut full. Just need to extroversion two views, then times two you, cut. You, yeah. yeah. You need to ask the girl out, like, basically. Basically, yeah. Minimum, minimum level of skill in this area, yeah. 
Well, that's minimum lah. I feel like I'm it's quite sad, go, go you know, ending this way. podcast in this way. You no, know, no, okay, like okay, okay, okay. I want maybe maybe I try to turn it into positive a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> I when I work with introverts, I always feel that when they open up to me, I'm like, I will be your champion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I will champion for you. Yeah, so one way is to find an extrovert who believes in you and your work yeah, and sure. maybe work together. Uh, give and take lah. Because so if he's doing something for you, yeah. you gotta do something for him also lah. You got tag team your way through corporate yeah, ladder. I think hopefully, that's the, hopefully so. Actually, I feel like that's the pro- probably the way to go lah. I feel like if you're an introvert, right, I'm sure there's a skill set that you possess that an extrovert wants. Needs, and if, yeah. yeah. That, and I think this is evident in a lot of companies. So if you look at the sales team, yeah. And you look at the operations team. Yeah. It's almost as if it's like a fucking polarizing divide, like the the two oceans yeah. meet yeah. in the middle. Yes, you know? yes, yes. And the reality is is interdependent on one another. And because the extrovert probably knows how to sell better than he knows how to do it. Yeah. And the guy, the introvert probably knows how to do it better than the way he can sell it. All right. You know what? Tag team with someone from from the sales team. But I feel that the extrovert, right, just looks like he's a god like that. That's it. That's it. It just looks like a god on you. Man. But then I f- you need to find right the ac- the correct extrovert. When you yeah. find the correct extrovert, right, that like somehow knows how to like put his arm around your shoulder, that, that thing, and be like, don't worry, I push you together or so. But you support me. Then you will confirm go far. Mm. But if you find the wrong extrovert, right? Gone. Steve Jobs already. <laughs> Steal all your work and claim claiming Bro. as their own. Bro, it can it can work the other way also. I feel the extrovert also sometimes can champion the introvert so much, right? Mm. The introvert fucks him up also, which is yeah, the Zuckerberg that's true, and that's the true, yeah. The, I don't know what the fuck. That's how how bad that guy got fucked, bro. I think mm. the Andrew Garfield character in the Social Network yes, movie. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. So I think if you find that correct partner in that sense, because experience-wise, when I work with introverts, I always champion them. But also, I get fucked sometimes. I'm like, dude, this this guy, I champion him, and then he like fucking do shit work also. That I also can That type of thing. So I think you gotta find that right partnership, which goes back to the previous podcast on values. So you have the same values. I think it's naturally a bit easier. But yeah. So that's my take on it. Um. I I don't know what else to say. So <laughs> it's an extrovert. Yeah. 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 I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. If you're not a Patreon member, consider the Patreon member. Oh, wait, wait, before I end this podcast, right? Actually, I got another. If you are scared, right, and you're an introvert, right, I found a very effective way. I think if you talk in front of camera, right, somehow it like makes it easier. That's right? true. Yeah, That's yeah, true. Yeah. Because I realized right, a lot of CEOs that I've worked with and COOs and C and C C sweet lah, C sweet people. Ah, C sweet people lah. When the moment you go in front of the camera, they fucking scared, man. But the moment uh, the person has been comfortable with the camera for like a That's while true. already, suddenly it's like fucking bueno, bro. So if uh, you are scared, right, or you are an introvert and you feel like you want to go out a bit, right, you just go and post 10 vlogs on YouTube. Damn hard, man. Damn hard. You just talk in front of the camera. After that, when you post 10 vlogs, suddenly like, you know the Vegeta, the thing, the, 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 yeah, the, the, the tracker, the tracker your, your power will confirm increase, man. They will scare and be like, wow, this guy a bit more confident now. If I feel... Do you I, remember when you did the first podcast? Yeah, I, I think it would help in general. But if you are someone who is working in a big company, <coughs> you don't need to just... Like, the goal is not to just speak more. It's part of it, but you need to be, like, bragging about your work also. It's, I think so it's, it's the a different. Yeah, it's a different it's the confidence. thing, I think. I feel it's a confidence. Sorry, I, I'm doing this after the like, comment, subscribe. But I just feel like it builds the confidence. I was quite scared as well before. But yeah, take that. Extra advice. Like, comment, subscribe. Patreon member. If you think advice is good. Suddenly Russian. Love you long time. Peace. Minato Namikaze wins. <laughs> <laughs>